In compliance with Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, entitled Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided as specified in the Act. Proper notice of this public meeting was provided in the notice of January 6, 2014. Said notice was posted at the entrance of the Board of Education offices, mailed to the Nutley Sun, the Star Ledger, the North Jersey Herald News, and the Nutley Journal. Mailed to the Nutley Township Clerk, advertised in the Nutley Sun on January 16, 2014, posted on the district website. This is an official meeting. In consideration of all here present and in recognition of the importance of these proceedings, it is requested that all cell phones and pagers be turned off or silenced for the duration of this meeting. Thank you. Please stand for the class. Martin, would you join me at the microphone?
plaque that was delivered today on behalf of Christopher Burke. Thank you very much. Established in the United States and this state, and this state under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I, state trooper. I, Salvatore Ferraro. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I possess the qualifications prescribed by law. That I possess the qualifications prescribed by law. For the office of member of a board of education. For the office of member of a board of education. And not disqualified as a voter. I'm not disqualified as a voter. Pursuant to RS 19-4-1. Pursuant to RS 19-4-1. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially and justly. Impartially and justly. Perform all duties of that office. Perform all duties of that office. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I just have to state that we asked if we could do this after we honored the ban, because that's what we're here for, but state statute required this to be done first, so I'm apologizing for it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the students are getting to see government at work. Government is at Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and I will bear true faith and allegiance and I, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same to the same and to the governments established in the United States and this state and to the governments established in the United States and this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people so help me God so help me God I and state your I, Frederick Sklar, do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly swear or affirm that I possess the qualifications, that I possess the qualifications prescribed by law, prescribed by law for the office of member of a board of education, for the office of member of board of education, and not disqualified as a voter, and not disqualified as a voter pursuant to RS 19 colon 4-1. Pursuant to RS 19 colon 4-1. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially and justly. Impartially and justly. Perform all duties of that office. Perform all duties of that office. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Right. Election of officers. And I am 
accepting nominations now in order for the office of president of the Board of Education. Mr. James, I would like to um, put the name forward of uh, Trustee Tom Stazzato as the president of the Board of Education. I think he has the uh, concern, caring, dedicated board member for the years he's been on, and I look forward to working with him in the future. Thank you. Are there any further nominations for president? There being no further nominations, it is declared that the nominations are closed. Mrs. Kakuza, please take the vote for president of the Board of Education, Mr. Thomas Desire. Mr. Conicello? Yes. Mrs. Danchek Martin? No. Mr. Ferrara? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Kaczynski? Yes. Mr. Riley? Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Scalera? Yes. Mr. Spizzato? Yes. Congratulations, Mr. Spizzato, and please assume the chair. The only election ever had a snowstorm shut it down in the history of uh, Nutley. Uh, to be my friend uh, and longtime partner in the fire service, and I think he'll be uh, a great vice president. So I like to move his name forward for nomination. Okay. And then, Mr. Conicella? Yes. Mrs. Danchek Martin? Yes. Mr. Ferrara? Yes. Mr. Klein? Yes. Mr. Kaczynski? Yes. Mr. Riley? Yes, and I'd like to thank uh, the past president uh, for his uh, great service over the last couple of years. He's been a tremendous asset to this Board of Education, and we welcome him <coughs> as the new president. But thank you for his tremendous service. Thank you. Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Scalera? Yes. Mr. Spizzato? Yes, and I would like to echo what uh, Mr. Raleigh repeated. Uh, Charlie has been the backbone for the last couple of years with us. Um, I'm sure he's going to continue. As my as vice president, as active as he's been as president, so thank you, Charlie, and thank you, everybody. Fred Scalari to uh, acknowledge the band. The you can read the resolution first and take it from there. <coughs> Be resolved that the Nutley Board of Education recognizes the outstanding performance given by the Nutley High School Marching Band at the competition, parade, pregame, and halftime shows at the 2015 Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida. The Board of Education hereby commends them for their honor and recognition they have brought to themselves, their families, their school, and their community. You don't know what's going on right now, but the band is doing tremendous. I was excited for nine trophies, two plaques, and then $10,000. How can you imagine that at the end of the day? 
I would say, and I've been around the band and was in the 70s, um, and I like, told a few stories to a couple people. When we came in, uh, Mr. Herbeck used to play the record when they performed at uh, Shea Stadium for, in between a Jets game. And that was our excitement when we got there. And I think um, this is much larger than that, probably the largest thing that's ever occurred. I'm so proud of all of you. I want to thank then also, I reached out for Mr. Riley over the weekend. He's here someplace. Uh, there he is, because everybody's still else on the road. Reached out for Mr. Riley and said, listen, we're, I, I've talked to the president of the board. We have to do something right away. These kids did a great job. And I want to also not have it, but I also want to see if we can show something tonight so that everybody can see it. It winds up on tape, winds up on Channel 77, shows what our programs are doing. Um, I couldn't be prouder. I could thank him each one individually. I ran over to yesterday's to kind of catch part of it, where the Beatles showed me I saw you pregame with no sound, and we cheered and watched you march on the field. Um, but it was, it was truly an honor. Um, we're proud of all of you. I'm sure some of the other board members are going to have comments also. But, uh, but coming from the band, being your representative of the music program and sports, um, to your team over there, Mr. Morella, and the whole team that's over there. Um, I see you all. The time. Mr. Morella and Mr. Mr. Vicker Ellis, you know, there. I talk to them all the time on what's going on and follow you. And I'm always at the breakfast to make sure I kick him off the year with the unsupported. But I want to let you know this board has been great at supporting the arts in this district. Mr. Riley was a great addition to that. And I talk to him all the time. I can pick up the phone and call him. He answers me back. And he's always supporting the programs. That's what it's about. Parents that are here, I know about band camps and traveling and doing things. Uh, if it's not without the parents, the kids aren't as successful. The music program isn't. But that's what it takes about Nutley. In Nutley, we have families involved. It makes a big difference. So thank you to all the parents. I'm going to turn it over to to the Board of Education for, uh, for giving us the opportunity to come in. And um, it was literally in the middle of the night when Mr. Sclera reached out and, and came up with the idea to present this. And I think just the, just the way that this room is set up right now sort of typifies the community spirit that, that you've all welcomed me into and I've become a part of. Um, it's just an absolutely amazing program that, that was here and that we're gonna continue to foster and build. Um, I wanna introduce the staff. And thank again the parents, you know, as, as marching band parents, as athletic parents, you know what dedication goes into and the countless hours and the running back and forth, the rehearsals, the late nights, and the dedication that your children put into it. And um, as the administrator for, for the district, I really appreciate everything that, that Marie and Jeff are doing and have done for the program. I that um, the instruction that the students get uh, gets them to where they are. So um, I'd like to uh, introduce the staff. Um, Ms. Card for the color artist here. Director, Mr. Vincent Vicarello. And you all know the next man goes without introduction. What he's done for this community and the time that he gives to, to the students, to the programs, is, is second to none anywhere. Um, great pleasure, Mr. Maiello. Mr. 
I don't want to say a few things, but thank you again, and thank you to the Board of Education for allowing us this opportunity. Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for this gracious event, everyone. It's really, uh, it's a bit overwhelming. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a very simple person. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, the kids would say very much so that I just compartmentalize, because we got through, you know, leaving and packing the bus, and then we made it down there through all the traffic and bad weather, and then we just kind of went step by step. And uh, you get to a certain point where, um, you, you know, I, it's, you sit back and you look at the things that we were able to accomplish in that week. It was just truly amazing. And, you know, I, I think of uh, the first thoughts that come to mind as I stand in front of you is uh, when we were separated from the rest of the group that was going to perform at halftime at the Gator Bowl, we were underneath. And all of a sudden, like the Iowa marching band kind of like literally threw us. Right? And, and there's a lot of them, right? And they're really big. Uh, there was this piccolo player that was about 6'8". <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how he got his hands on that instrument. I mean, he just engulfed the whole thing. And all of a sudden, I look up, and our kids are, like, they're just interacting with those kids and talking to them about, well, I'm sure it was music, I'm sure it was college, I'm sure it was a number of things. And all of a sudden, the Marine Band comes by, right? And they're, because they, they were, they were after us, I might say, I might add. But um, <laughs> so the Marine Band comes by, and all of a sudden our kids just like walk over and start talking to them. And you can see like they're fingering notes, they're doing things, and like like that interaction to me was really the special moment because that's the stuff that like all right, we've done our field show a lot, and we've done very well this year, and I'm really proud of what they achieved. But I'm more proud of who they've become as young ladies and gentlemen. So. Um, you know, that to me is the stuff that I take home, and I remember that that makes truly what we do here so special. It's those moments. So uh, thank you for your support. Uh, we'll continue to be there for you guys uh, in the very distant future, and we'll really develop this program into something special. So thank you very much. here were either in preschool or in the first grade. So they've come a long way, and so has this program. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention two people that really stand out to me in where we were in 2004 and where we are today. Um, I met John Holland at a uh, Paramus Nutley football game in Paramus when we were carrying old dilapidated equipment onto a football field. Uh, I also met Rosemary Costa, who's been with the program forever and ever. And, and, and thank you so much for what you do and what you've always done. You're a tremendous uh, asset and a tremendous uh, person. Thank you. Um, but we decided as a board that year to shift $125,000 from the football program to the arts program. And being a football town, you can imagine uh, what we went through when we decided to move that money out of football into the arts and look where we are today. Uh, Mr. Maiola was not part of the team back then. Uh, he came shortly thereafter and he's just done an outstanding job. I'm so proud of the parents, the volunteers, the kids, and I understand the effort that it takes uh, to put that together and the time it takes to put together. And thank you guys for doing a phenomenal job. And thank you to Dr. Phil Casal, who was a driving force of moving that money. So thank you, Phil, and thank you, Ms. Costa. Not that I need to stand up, but I just wanted to... I'm <laughs> happy to see in front of me. Uh, again, I, I need to thank this board and our superintendent for, for having the, the, the site to look forward. Ms. Danchek, Russ have worked very hard with the band back when we first were starting to make those moves. The rest of the board, 
knowing that we needed to funnel some money in that direction, supportive of the parents, the children. I, I cannot say enough. You, Ms. Mayella made a, made a comment that he would be there for us. It, it's just the opposite. You need to know that this board is there for you, for your children, for the band, for the football team, for everyone. But it, it, it just brings it brings everything to light when you see what you've gone through. And, and the young children now don't realize it now, but when you have their 20th reunion, that's all they're going to talk about. That's, that's all we're going to talk about is what they did this particular day, and God bless all of you. Thank you. We had to spend the money on the yeah. band. We don't care. It's true. The microphones are dying. <laughs> and that's what makes this worthwhile. The, the dozens and dozens of hours and evenings we spend deliberating, debating, and making those really hard decisions. Tonight is the moment that makes this all worthwhile. It's not a thankless job. You've all done us so proud, and we thank you for representing Nutley and the school in such a positive way. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Um, first off, I just want to say, if all it takes is winning a competition like this to get a crowd like this at the board meeting, I really appreciate that. Um, we need to bring the $10,000 check. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of things, Mr. President, I wanted to point out, and, and really, first off, is thank you to everyone who's been involved. I to the students, if you take away some things from this, first and foremost, it takes a team. Um, I know this board and the boards previous have been strong supporters of the arts, and this has been nominated as a community, you know, one of the best communities for the arts for a number of years. Um, we go out and try and find the absolute best people and support them, um, but without the parents, without the teachers, without everyone's support, um, the trip doesn't even happen. And so it really takes everyone pulling together, and I'm so proud to be part of and small part, and the least especially. Um, thank you very much for all the tweets and the information and keeping us involved. And, um, it, it is an important thing that we provide these things for you. Um, a second thing I want you to walk away with, hopefully, as Mr. Krasinski uh, mentioned, you know, 20 years from now. Um, I've watched Mr. Maiello and Mr. Vicarello and Mr. Walt work constantly. And one of the things I'm always amazed at, and good teachers do this, he keeps coming back to process. You guys had wonderful performances, and he'd say that was a terrific watch. And he'd walk up, and he always got you to focus on something else, something that could be better. And he did it in a way where you were still smiling and you wanted to work harder and it was enjoyable. And so hard work and that process, look where it got you. Um, the last piece is the trophies are fantastic and obviously I think the board's happy with the $10,000 to go back to the program. Um, that being said, I hope that you understand that we respect what you did, the commitment you put in, all of your hours of work, and what you did on every single field that you walked onto, regardless of these things. And Mr. Maiello and your staff, Mr. Williams, the administration, the faculty, all the teachers and parents that made this possible, but certainly Mr. Maiello, you'd get a standing ovation whether you had $10,000 or not. So thank you for everything that you've done.
Give the lights to whoever's in the floor. Time. I asked if we had any of the uh, family members like to say a few words. Sure, Nick Swift, up here, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just for all of you know, I think we have seven Nicks in the marching band. So if you ever get into any trouble and you're around the marching band, if you just say Nick, someone will show up. Uh, this is uh, both of our drum majors, Nick Stella and Nick Cortez. Um, why don't you guys talk just a little bit about your experience? And, 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 and... <laughs> so this is the assistant. Um. So. <laughs> When I tried out for a drum major, I didn't even want to do it. I'm not even going to lie. I did it in total intentions of just seeing what it looked like and felt like and maybe get it my senior year. I never would have thought this would have happened. This might have been one of the greatest experiences of my life and I'm only a junior so I get to do it again next year. I couldn't ask for anything more than that. I am being in charge of a great group of kids. Everyone is so dedicated and always wanting to work hard. Couldn't ask for anything more. So thank you to everyone in the band. Thank you to all the parents that support us. Um, thank you, Mr. Milo and the rest of the staff. You guys give us the best opportunities every day. Thank you. Yeah, so... <laughs> to follow that with... Thank you for this band, for just being totally amazing and just following everything we wanted to do this year. Honestly, like the same thing Nick said, that when I was a freshman, I honestly did not know that this is where I'd be when I was a senior. So this entire program has just made me a totally different person, and through all the groups that I've been with, this is one of the best ones I've been in. And I just want to thank you to Mr. Girl, Mr. Mael, everybody. Uh, thank you for making me the person that I am today, and thank you for this whole band. It's honestly going to be on this trip. Thank you. Second on that motion for a resolution. So second. Someone to second that for me. Second. second by board. <laughs> Madeline, can you do roll call, please? Mr. Cornsella. Yes. Mrs. Daycheck Martin. Yes. Mrs. Cornsella. 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 Yes. Mrs. Okay, um, at this time I'd like to uh, just give an opportunity to uh, you guys to go. Which you have work to do. Congratulations to everyone on 2014, and I'm excited to carry the growth, the success that we've just witnessed. 
um, and all the improvement that's going on in the district from 2014 to 2015. Uh, I'm not going to thank um, the students again, though I had it in my report, but just going to thank the board when you see the looks on the faces of the parents and the teachers and the students. This is what we do. And uh, we have Lincoln School here. I'm sorry, Rapid School here. Yes? I said Rapid in my head. Maybe came on now. <laughs> But to all the teachers, certainly you guys for giving up a nice evening. Well, Mr. Carney, you brought uh, the next principal. Oh, nice yeah. Hey, we'll Superintendent. You <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't say much this morning. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> but just thank you all. I don't know if any of our elementary teachers looked at any of the kids and remembered them from, I mean, what, how great a feeling is that? Sometimes I don't have to see it. So. Um, congratulations to all of our teachers. Um, some important information just coming up. We are wasting no time going right back to work. Um, our strategic plan communications team, some important information nights for parents and students coming up. Um, demystifying the college application process this Thursday, 7 o'clock uh, in the high school auditorium. Um, we will be opening our grade book in February um, at the 7-12 level, so there will be a parent information night uh, on that, the 14th, Wednesday the 14th, 6.30 uh, in the high school. We have our 8th grade parent scheduling information program uh, that happens annually this uh, two Thursdays, uh, January 15th and 7th, also in the auditorium. Um, a financial aid workshop with uh, Joseph Roberto, he's a, he's a HESA consultant, national consultant, um, and trainer with over 37 years of experience working on specifically financial aid and assistance parents through the financial aid process, uh, process and bringing him in. Um, our ESL Bilingual Parent Advisory Committee meets again uh, January 20th, um, and we have our NJ, the program that we've been working on at the, the elementary level on NJCAP, building sessions happening at the end of January. So those are just, we were kicking off the year right where we left off, continue to try and get the information out there and, and build more communities like the one that surrounds our, our marching band. Um, the final piece, Mr. President, uh, is just an update on re-registration. Um, certified letters are going out tomorrow. Um, we're finalizing the last piece of registration, but to uh, approximately about anywhere between 90 and 100 um, students, their parents or guardians, uh, who have not yet followed the, complete the registration process. These letters initiate the official removal of students from our register. Uh, from our register. And if there are any remaining errors, I'm simply encouraging members of the community that right now is the last time you have. Um, to contact the registration office and provide the appropriate documentation because with these letters, the disenrollment process officially begins. Just now, yeah, well, my question on that way is straight. So then, um, if they have not done it, but they are legal residents, they have to then bring the children? In? There's never a time to bring children in. Well, they have to come in with the information and the child and come back to the school. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, these letters do not, do not mean the following day the kids can't return to school again. We're trying to support students. Um, there is a legal process we have to go through to disenroll, but this is the first step in its notification. Um, it also basically informs parents letters going out that if you haven't received the appropriate documentation by January 14th, their students will be officially disenrolled. Okay, um, we are now coming to the portion of our meeting where we allow members of the public to address the board. In this section, we allow questions or comments on only the resolutions addressed in tonight's agenda. Board Regulation 601 allow 20 minutes for these communications. Each person shall be limited to three minutes. And we ask if you try to stay within this requirement. Speakers may speak more than once, only if the others wishing to speak have been heard. All statements will be directed to me as chairperson, and no one may address board members individually. Please be reminded that your statement is, if your statement is too lengthy, personally directed, abusive, obscene. Irrelevant and redundant, your participation may be terminated. Please remember to always state your name, your address, and every time, uh, every time you address the board. Uh, will the first person please step forward on agenda items only? Real quick, Mr. President, which of the meetings on resolution administration number one is the budget meeting? Is it the April or the May? Uh, the tentative budget will be presented on, adopted on March 9th. March 9th, that's the tentative and then the budget. And public, the public hearing will be on uh, April 27th. Thank you. Okay, seeing none. We're going to, uh, in this section, we will, are we, we're going to do the resolution now? We close this. Okay, we close this. And we're going to go to academic resolution uh, number one. This I'd like to um, ask academic resolution one as written. Second. 
call out and I spoke to uh, Father Joe Ferrara over at Holy Family, who's now the uh, in, in charge there. And apparently, uh, Karen, do we know where the contract was sent to? Was it sent to the North or was it sent to Holy Family here in LA? Because that may, that may be you know, the reason why it's taken a little longer for the contract to be sent back. The contract was emailed to Father Joe. So was he at, as well as to the North. Can we uh, resend that again? To make sure, because it's just a little conflict whether he received it. So can we? Because I left him at the door today. Okay. Can we do tomorrow send it and then make sure he got it? Okay, perfect. Anyone else? Any old business? Any new business? Mr. Scalera. It's kind of new at all. So first, um, I just like to thank Charlie for uh, serving as the president. Uh, I think I enjoyed working under him a lot. Um, I have to want to congratulate Russ for the two years. I think they worked well together, and I'd just like to congratulate you as the new president, um, continuing on what's been built over the past few years. It's, I think, truly really been working. I think things have been dealt with properly, and I'd just like to still continue. So, thank you. Any other members? I, I would just like to say it's, 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 it's the board. It's the board. I know we, we all work this <coughs> is the board, and I can say it again to Mr. Thomas, and I, and I know gets tired of hearing it. This board works better than many boards that I've served on before since Abe Lincoln and I were here together. <laughs> uh, but but I, this board is, is a cohesive board that, that has nine, in my opinion, nine alpha personalities that, that all come together and get the job done from nothing. And it's, it's, just, it's just good to be part of this board, no matter who's sitting up front. And at that stage, I'd like to make that, uh, I'd like to say that uh, I may be the president today, and I'll be running the meetings, but again, with Charlie's assistant and the board, the way we're running, everything's going to remain the same, so I don't see, uh, you know, anything changing. I, I see us heading forward uh, with our superintendent, and I'm sure any bumps in the road will get through, as we always do. And uh, that's all I can say is that we're going to continue on uh, Charlie's path that he started us. As a new superintendent, as a, superintendent's as a board, yeah. Charlie, as a superintendent, <laughs> as a uh, president of the board, yeah. you set a good precedent, and we're going to follow it. Everybody call me at seven in the morning. <laughs> I will not be doing any of those seven o'clock calls now. That's the best time I have to talk. Right, my moving time is my moving time is from five thirty to nine. That's when I get all my calls and work done. Okay. Can I get a? Uh, I think that's it. Now, we get a motion to adjourn. I make the motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.